Hi everybody and welcome to my review of Master Wong's book chapter 3 and let me show you chapter 3 so you know that there's actually a chapter 3 in the book and I'm not just uh, making uh, making all this stuff up that it actually really happened. So the really cool thing about chapter 3 is that it's mostly about water buffaloes or um, buffaloes and I am just fascinated by livestock and so ha having a whole um, chapter that's almost all about buffaloes is really cool. It talks about like the history of buffaloes and Ma uh, Master Wong's family's buffaloes and just a lot of really really interesting things about um, buffaloes. So if you have even mild interest in water buffaloes then I recommend buying this book just for chapter three. And um, let me let me read you a, um, a very brief quote about the water buffaloes. Plowing with the buffaloes was a filthy job. And I guess before I quote too much more, let me read, uh, let me quote this part of the book that says, No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without written permission except in the case of brief quotations embodied in critical articles or reviews. And so that's why this is a review, so I can um, embody these brief quotations within um, the review. So that's the good part is the water buffaloes. The bad part is that I was kind of disappointed because like I said in chapter two, it ended on this really cool cliffhanger. Uh, let me read this cliffhanger. All Hung could do, and and Hung is Master Wong, if you didn't know. Oh, and let me let, let me read the let me read the quote uh, like this, so you can see Master Wong as I'm reading it. All Hung could do was lie on the bed and worry about the boys coming back to finish the job. But then I open I I start chapter three and it ha and it starts like three months later. And Hung is a farmer now. So anyway, I was kind of um, deflated with the cliffhanger at the end of chapter two. Uh, I, they they could have um, they could have said oh, and then Hung's mom like like they could have opened this chapter three being action packed and said Hung's mom whisked him away to the farm um, and um, just to keep up the pacing, but. Chapter three just starts out like pacing very, very slowly because the it has a kind of deflated cliffhanger. And I guess since most of it's about water buffaloes, then maybe it's on purpose to kind of set the slow and uh, methodical tone of uh, talking about water buffaloes. And um, I have to warn you, and before I warn you, I need to give you a warning about my warning because I'm going to be warning you about the curse words in this book. So if you don't want to listen to me saying curse words, then please turn off this, this video uh, because I'm going to actually tell you all the curse words that are in chapter three, and there are a lot of them. And I, and I guess I've only read three chapters so far, but I'm guessing that chapter three has the most curse words of any chapter in this whole book. So the, um, these are the, um, after warning, um, like I said, please turn, turn this off if you don't want me to be telling you curse words, but these are the curse words. Bastard, shitty, fuck off, fucking, piss off, prick, and then a whole bunch of racial, racial slurs, which I'm not going to mention for, this, uh, for the purposes of this video. So, oh, and... So anyway, there's the uh, there's the water buffalo scene, and then there's an action scene um, toward the end of the chapter, which is really exciting and and interesting. But it kind of follows the same pattern that I that I read in a previous chapter, which is that Master Wong is almost dead, and then something happens, and then the guy he's fighting like is really almost dead and then Master Wong just kind of walks away um, a little bit um, unnerved and it makes for a really cool action sequence and I kind of hope that like every single one of these chapters it uh, follows this pattern of this guy almost beating Master Wong to death and then Master Wong like doing some like cool thing um, I 
I really hope that it does because that's really, really interesting. But it kind of reminds me of something that I heard once about getting into street fights. And it goes something like, if you're the one that's always getting into street fights, then maybe you... And 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 I can't I, I can't remember how that goes, but like something about something about street fights and and I guess it's really cool if you want to read about um, street fights, because this uh, that's basically what this is. Oh, and so, and uh, um, the very end of the chapter also ends on a cliffhanger. So I'm so I'm going to read this, and uh, but this time, I'm not. Um, I'm not gonna like set myself up to, for disappointment. It's a really really cool cliffhanger, but it might like skip forward like a year or two in the future, and we we might not even oh oh. But but I guess this is a skip proof in the future proof or skip forward in the future proof um, cliffhanger because it says it could not be any further from the truth. The bigger Hung got, the bigger the bullies became. So. I don't know if um, Hung is going to fight a giant or like some like tech robot, but that would be really really cool, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So anyway, the, um, chapter three is a little bit jarring as far as pacing, but action packed. And like I said, the highlight of this is a whole huge section on water buffaloes. So thank you very much, and stay tuned. <laughs>